Hello everyone, this is Casey from Blue Ridge Fish Hatchery. Today we will be taking a look at some of the creepy crawly little bugs or parasites commonly found on koi. Now these particular parasites were found during a routine scoping of a brand new batch of fish we recently brought in. In our efforts to provide the healthiest product possible, we scrape and scope all new batches of fish before they go into quarantine and then once again as they come out of quarantine. Now today we actually have a two for one special as you can see two different parasites on this one sample. The very large and scary looking parasite in the middle of your screen is gyrodactylus or a body fluke. But if you look closely you can see much smaller round objects tumbling about across the screen. Those are ichthyobodo, more commonly known as costia. Now if you have a slow internet connection and you are not watching in HD you will likely not be able to see the costia but trust me they are there. So how do we treat these? The costia will be easily knocked off and eliminated in no time by the salinity level of six parts per thousand in our quarantine tanks. But the flukes are a little tougher. Salt will not eliminate flukes, so we will have to look to other chemical treatments to eliminate any fluke problems. Our preferred treatment method is praziquantel, although superverm and potassium permanganate are also an option. So, now that the problem has been identified, the fish will be treated accordingly and then monitored closely as they make their way through quarantine. Afterwards, they will, they will be scoped again to make sure there are no lingering problems, then shipped out to a dealer near you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions about diagnosing or treating parasite issues.